HIV is considered a chronic, a chronic but manageable disease. Levels of knowledge about the HIV virus have not increased in the U.S. since 1987. Since 1987. 1987. Nineteen eighty seven. Dude, that's totally bogus. Today, many people still don't know the difference. People still don't know the difference. Still don't know the difference between HIV and between HIV and AIDS. It's between HIV and AIDS. How you can contract the virus and how you cannot. How it cannot. You cannot acquire the HIV virus. I said no. HIV is one hundred percent preventable. HIV is 100% preventable. Nobody has to get HIV. HIV is a virus which attacks the white blood cells and attacks the immune system. AIDS is a diagnosable condition that occurs when a person's immune system is weakened by the HIV virus. It can fight off infections. AIDS develops when the virus is left unchecked to attack the immune system. Amazing strides have been made have been made in the treatment of HIV. In the treatment of HIV with medications called ARVs. Medication can mean the difference between life and death. The HIV virus can be controlled with medications to the point where it's undetectable. Undetectable. And modern blood tests. And when this is done consistently, a person can live a long life. Kids being treated for HIV are expected to live a normal lifespan. HIV is transmitted in three main ways. There's three basic ways. Um, through unprotected sexual contact, through injection drug use or the sharing of needles, and mother to infant transmission during birth or breastfeeding. These are the only ways HIV can be transmitted. There has never been a case of HIV being transmitted in a normal family living situation. It cannot be transmitted by hugs. It cannot be transmitted by casual contact. Without education, people living with HIV will face stigma.